In this video, I'll show you the unexpected results you can get if you have automatic leveling turned on in Microsoft Project. You know, leveling in Microsoft Project is complicated enough as it is without further complicating things by turning on automatic leveling. In this video, I'll show you what can happen. So let's get started. In this sample project, I'm ready to begin assigning resources to tasks. For example, I know that I need the same resource on Design 1, Design 2, and Design 3. So I'll select all three tasks, I'll bring up the Assign Resources dialog, and I'll assign the resource named Calvin Baker to work full-time to all three tasks. When I click the Assign button, oh no, what just happened here? All the tasks in Phase 1 and Phase 2 move out into the future. Hmm something weird going on here. So let's pretend it has something to do with Calvin Baker. So let me just hit undo. And why don't we do this? I'll assign a different resource to build one, build two, build three. So let's bring up the same assign resources dialog again. And I'll choose Mickey Cobb to work on those three tasks. When I click the Assign button, oh, no, wait a minute. What's going on here? A bunch of tasks in Phase 1 and Phase 2 just moved automatically. Folks, this is the result of automatic leveling in Microsoft Project. Let me hit Undo again. And let me show you what is causing this problem. I need to click the Resource tab to display the Resource ribbon, and then to click the button called Leveling Options, which displays the Resource Leveling dialog. At the top of the dialog, notice that there are two options in the Leveling Calculation section. The options are Automatic and Manual. I recommend that you never, never, ever select Automatic because that gives Microsoft Project the power to level automatically any time an overallocation appears. You don't want the software doing that. It's against your will and without your permission. Instead, use the manual option. So I'll go ahead and select manual, click OK. Now let's go ahead and do the first example. I'll select the three design tasks, bring up the Assign Resources dialog. I'll go ahead and choose Calvin Baker. I'll assign him at a unit's value of 100%, and I'll click the Assign button. Notice this time that Microsoft Project displays the overallocated resources indicator, the little red stick figure. This is telling us that Calvin Baker is overallocated on three tasks. Now the problem is this, he's assigned to work full time on those three tasks in parallel. He's supposed to work 24 hours a day. In the real world, that's never gonna happen. We'd kill poor Calvin Baker if we did that. So really the choice is this, I should have assigned him at 33% units, so let me go ahead and put in 33%. Now press the Enter key. Notice the over allocation indicator has disappeared. That's now because Calvin is no longer over allocated. But if you needed somebody to be working full time on these three tasks, then you need to step in and level the over allocations but you choose the method you want for leveling. You don't let Microsoft Project do it for you. So that is why you do not want Microsoft Project to be 
leveling your overallocations automatically. So stay away from that automatic option. After watching this video, have you figured out why you shouldn't be using automatic leveling in Microsoft Project? I hope you found this video to be helpful. If so, please give it a like and share it with your friends and colleagues. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll subscribe and click the notifications button. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.